So BICAMS is a 15 minute assessment that can be completed by anyone who's a health professional. It doesn't need a lot of special equipment, a stopwatch, some paper, a pencil is enough. And it's designed so that wherever you are in the world, you can have a cognitive assessment as part of your routine clinical management in your MS clinic. And we have 17 countries so far published. We have another handful ready to go. Um, and so it is a real international project which the international MS community has got behind and embraced. And in fact, we now have over 11,000 patients a year that we know about, there's probably more, um, who are assessed on by CAMS around the world. Well, BICAMS means that for most people with MS in most countries, there is now a validated measure in their own language with norms that can be applied to their own performance. So this means that a person's cognitive function can be assessed routinely once a year and that they can have access to information about their cognitive performance. And if there is evidence that they're suffering from a cognitive deterioration, the clinic can start to work in a way that supports that. So they can present information in a way that helps overcome cognitive deficits. They can monitor for the additional risks that people with cognitive deficits have, employment risks, poor disease management, falls, driving safety. And it also means that the clinic can be more efficient at referring people who need specialist neuropsychological support on because they need only refer on the people they already know have a cognitive deficit. Yes, well we're going to call this BICAMS, so BICAMS trajectories. And the reason that we are starting this project is because at the moment we're not very good at dealing with practice effects. Practice effects are when you do a test twice, even a year apart, you still do slightly better than you did last time if you have a healthy brain because you kind of remember the test. So what we're doing is all around the world we're collecting normal healthy people who do buy cams every year for three or four years then we're going to put all that data into a big software program including um, the person's um, gender and their education years of education and then we're going to model what happens to a healthy brain when it does buy cams once a year and that will give us an estimate of the practice effect so when we're doing our people with MS we can tell whether their yearly um, trajectory is within the normal range or not and that will enable us to identify the people who are um, acquiring cognitive difficulties.